morning guys so i'm back now i just want to continue on with um collaging here i stitched around the frame of this envelope just with that um, cream cotton you can't really see it but you can in real life you can sort of feel the texture of it too i've never done that before and i sort of like the effect it's given and i usually use chocolate thread but I'm gonna just try something a bit different and use the cream thread that um, I used around the perimeter of the journal cover. So then I was able to glue down the flap and I put a little notch there. So our, our internal pocket is now complete. So the next thing I wanna do is actually um, collage a tag. And I've got a piece of paper here that could be used as a tag so i just want to cut this down to size and carry on i guess there's so much collaging to do and i'm just looking for a pencil and i can't find one goodness me so i'm just going to give myself a few little marks here grab my cutter and i'm going to cut a tag for our pocket the other thing I want to do is just a little bit more decorating on the front. I think I'd like to see a bird. So I'm just using some of this book page to give me a base a tag as well. That should fit nicely into there. A little bit snug, so I'm going to trim off some more. I'm going to make it nice and easy for it to come in and out. There's no use it being snug because little hands, you know, they, they will force it. It'll rip. So you want to make it really easy for the tag to go in and out. Yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Actually, look, I'm going to take a fraction more off. It's just not slipping in. That's better. Yeah. Heaps, heaps better. Okay. So I grabbed out this piece of paper. I thought that looked pretty and that was going to be... So that's perfect size. That's great. I'm going to glue that onto there and I'll put something on the back there to cover that probably some writing paper i'm thinking that will really show her right from the get-go that these tags are for her to jot notes onto so i think that will be what we'll do on that reverse side so that's now I've got a home. Yep, I like that. And we'll stitch around that as well just to sort of keep a bit of uniformity. Now, some writing paper. Um, just looking in the cupboard behind me, I have these little notebook pages that I often use. Put my hand on them, and they've got a nice brown paper, so yeah, that's that'll be good. Grab a piece of that out, get rid of these little staples. a tool that does this easily for you but of course it's at the other end of the craft table so this will suffice okay now what I'm gonna do I'm hoping that can't be seen can see that. I'm going to glue some paper on there first. Just 
slight detour. I'm just going to back this completely, I think. It'll just help disguise the fact that that image is there because that writing paper is just a little bit thin. Might as well go right up to the edge and utilise those straight edges, hey? There we go. That's better. Oh, I need to clean my desk. I said that in the last video and I haven't. It's really starting to get sticky. I need some of those wipes. I still haven't got any. So I'm just going to cut that out. Okay, now that that is backed, I might decoratively tear down. Where's my bit of paper there? I don't want to damage this. I'm going to decal edge this writing paper just to give it a bit of a feature. So fine. And decal edge that top. Actually, what am I doing? Okay. I'm just going to mark a few marks for myself. There and there. Okay. Just want to try and get it as straight as I can, so I'm going to use the and that I can use the line. Sorry, you're out of view, but you're not missing much. Okay. Now, I'm happy with that. We've got a piece of writing paper that can go right in the center of that tag. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, so let's glue it down. Then that can go to the sewing machine and be embellished. The other thing we can do is select something to go on the top of the tag, a little tab so that it can be easily pulled in and out of the journal. That's good. Okay, yeah. Once I stitch around that, that'll be pretty. So, what can we put on the top? Do we cut a doily in half? A little doily motif. That'd be pretty. Um, let me have a look. I'm just going to grab a doily out of my box of tricks. I don't think I have a piece of fabric really in mind. I'm thinking it'll just be a basic doily that I trim. Okay. Just had to go further afoot. I'm thinking I'm going to use that. And what I'll do is I will cut it in half or do I put the whole thing on that'd be pretty I haven't done that before I usually cut them in half but that would be pretty then on the other side let's do that oh something new 
I like it when there's something new. So I'm going to just try, um, 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 I might use a bit of this as well. Just get a bit of this glue into play. Hello, Fudge. What's the story, Fudge? Might just put a little bit of that as well. Can't hurt. Use the center of that crocheted element to tell me where my center is. Yeah, that's lovely. So I'll be able to run the sewing machine across that as well, just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And it's nice and strong for little hands. Okay, now, so that's just ready to sew. And that'll dry nicely, making a, a nice decorative little element at the top of that. Now I want to brighten up um, this here. Just feel like it's a little bit, little bit plain. Now, I thought maybe I might have a bird or something that could go in there or even a flower just to give us a pop of colour. Something that might... No. don't know if there'll be anything here that's bright enough. It's sort of all got that moody, all too big. Wrong shape. Sometimes just white can do it. I don't mind that. That would get me my green without adding. I sort of felt like it needed green. That has green in it, so I don't need to add. And I like how it sneaks across the window a little bit. But... We need something else. I'm thinking a tag. There's fudgy. Seedlings, tree, fern, botany, botanize, forest. Anything more inspirational, heartfelt, family, celebrate, blessed. Don't really think those are suitable. Conquer, believe, become. To come to a beginning, develop, not believe. To have confidence in the truth and value something. Desire, a wish, a dream, something to strive for. Mm. They're okay, but... Just not digging them completely. Hey, Fudge. Hmm. What else could we put there? Got some more flowers in there. I like that one. I like the green. It picks up on that green in the background just need a little label something inspiring do I add a butterfly as well gosh it's like tangents we go on well, I sort of like that as well yeah then maybe I can use a smaller a smaller word. Um, 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 um. Let's have a look in this little. I think it's more stamps and. Sort of like it up there. 
Oh, I just know it'll be the right word when I see it. I'm, I have the word journal somewhere there, but it's sort of not really a journal as such. Maybe it'll end up like a journal. I don't know. Here we go. Every morning you have a new opportunity to be happier version of yourself. Oh, here we go. These are word labels from Junk with Steph. I'm liking some of these, actually. Let's have a little look. There's some smaller one. Whatever comes, let it come. Whatever stays, let it stay. No, never change to accept to be accepted by other others and that's pretty heavy for a kid we want it a little bit fluffier if you had one wish what it would it be i love doing absolutely nothing friendship is everything motivate yourself don't listen to those people who only see your mistakes i will always be that friend it is a beautiful feeling when you yeah no 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 I like the font of these. Never give up on your dreams. Bingo. That's what we want. So let's just, kindness is a language of blind the deaf. Art is medicine. Be proud of every step you take. Okay. We've got some potentials here. Let's just see if we can tear down these without getting be proud of every step you take I like that one if if I can tear it out of there sorry guys you're out of view I'm trying to slither this little Oh, Fudgy. Fudgy's just rubbing up my legs here. He's a happy little cat. Never give up on your dreams. I'm going to take that one out as well because it might be a better um, shape. Sometimes that sort of dictates what you do as well. Hey, puss puss. Okay, let's put those back in. Definitely the butterfly is going to stay. I'm going to just trim a little bit of that white off. And I'll get rid of the antennae because I like to use cotton as my antennae. So let's just ink around that to get rid of a bit of that white. Yeah, that's nice. Never give up on your dreams. <sighs> Isn't that lovely? Be proud of every step you take. I think that's too big. Yeah, I want to see that music. And that'll give that flower something to anchor into. Fudgy, puss puss, what you doing? Yeah, I like that. So let's glue that down. Morale. Pussy, pussy. What's your story? He's looking for a lap. He's like, come in to say, today is a rainy, bleak day, mum. I reckon we should be sitting together on the couch where I can have a nap. That's what he's saying to me. He's going to jump up any minute, guys. Be prepared. There is a pussycat coming. Yeah, I like that. Now, I want to find some cotton. So 
some brown cotton. That shouldn't be too hard. I've got a sewing machine full of threads. Hang on, guys. Okay, we're back. Just going to cut off a little bit of thread. Can you believe there was no cotton at the sewing machine? How is that possible? Okay, so we need some art glitter glue to catch our little butterfly. And our thread. It's fiddly, but rather cute. Okay. So, we'll just pop a butterfly there. There we go. Our little flip out pocket is complete. So what have we got on the other side? Nothing and an opportunity for um, something, maybe a pocket. Do we use some of this paper that we've salvaged from the envelope maybe and make ourselves a little little pocket I'm thinking we do <clears throat> let's just cut that down a little bit <clears throat> neaten it up what size is it three and a half so if I make it one and three quarters we'll have roughly two pockets the same <clears throat> that will be handy. Now, I haven't put my pin in my glue. So, I wonder if we could be sneaky and do two pockets with some bits. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's, let's put some paper. Let's tidy up what we've started here so we don't have a blooming mess. Where's those words? Okay, so let's get those over there out of my way. And let's find some paper that can go on those to decorate it. Now, before I do, I want to cover this a little more. What have we got? What have we got? Just nothing real big in size. That might do the trick. That's pretty. But will it pretty much be covered up by if that pocket went through there, that pocket went in there. It's sort of covering it out all, isn't it? Maybe something a little bit more generic. Just some coffee stain paper. And then use that as the pop of colour. I'm thinking along those lines, but I don't know. I've got so many options and I don't know music paper it's not the right size
can't believe this is so hard. Oh, sorry, guys. It's just like I've gone blank. Book page. William Shakespeare. Where are you? And can we use a piece of you? Have I got any handy? Oh, the words might be a bit too adult. No, stay away from book page, I think. Because I think the words might be a little bit risque for a nine-year-old. Let's have a look through the music paper. Yeah, this will do. Let's tear this down. It's nice and generic. So I'm just going to... Rip this down. This will do. Perfect. And that can just sit right in over that whole space. And that'll be generic. And then we can find something fun for the pockets themselves. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I said I wouldn't ink, but I can't help it. I can see that white page and it just bugs me. Did I tear that down right? No. Goodness me. I need to actually come to the next line down. Okay, so that's good. That will work a treat. that so that's now all covered and looking cute yes fudge did I get that up the right way can't tell. I don't think it is. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's artistic license, correct? Correct. Where's my little pockets? So we need something bright and pretty for these pockets. it's quite moody it's quite moody there so I sort of feel like we need some pop of color like a green pocket no oh. oh fudgy please I don't know if you guys can hear him he's meow meow in here there he is. <laughs> Have a look at this rosy floral here. Yeah. Let's see if we can get some pockets out of that. Of course, we're not going to get two, are we? And I've lost a pocket. Goodness sakes. Fudgy, what are you doing to me? Maybe this pink. I think I like that better. 
Yep, let's glue that needs to be that side. Be able to get two pink pockets out of this piece. I can't believe I lost a pocket. Goodness sakes. That's because Fudgy's here. It's your fault, Fudge. Hmm? Goodness me. Guys, how is this possible? Did it get caught up in there? Did you guys see where it went? I can't go too deep because I've only been in this. I've only been in this vicinity. Did I put it in the bin by mistake? No. Nope. Mm. Can't see it. It'll turn up. I've got white on the back here which is not what I wanted but we can use our ink to ink it up a little to just to knock back that white one pocket now I'd like to decorative stitch around that would be rather nice. I can't believe I've lost a pocket. Guys, do you know, you just have one of these days where you probably should just go and do something else. That's how I'm feeling today. I'm definitely gonna do a second pink pocket if I can find my pocket. Yeah, Fudgy. Do you know where it is? Oh, it's on the floor, under Fudge's feet. <sighs> Fudgy, what are you doing to me? He's saying I didn't do nothing. All right, let's let's get this. Back on track. Just I'm just going to aim for that corner because there was a nice bit of rose in that corner. Someone asked me in a video previously what this tool was. I got it from Tim Holt's range and it's really just to burnish things down. It just squishes glue out, makes glue sit nice and flat. It's just um, like you can use your hands, but I find that you don't get an even pressure when you run your hands over something. So if you don't have something like that, um, you can use a business card, an old credit card. So as long as it's got a bit of rigidity to it, it, um, it will work for you. Let's just ink that up a little. Okay. So that and that will go there and we can tuck some goodies into that pocket, which will then attach to there. So that's looking like it just needs a sewing machine now. It's just pretty much finished. I can put a piece of fabric down there. What can we do here? What are we revealing under our pocket? Probably another pocket. Do we put that into position? Yeah, I'm thinking we will. We'll make a, a, another bigger pocket. I might actually just take a little bit off of that height. I just feel like it's a little bit too deep it's three and a half so I'm just going to notch it back to two and a half 
And then the, the little bit that comes off, we might put on the front of it as a little tuck for, you know, labels and things like that. Yeah, and I think I should probably take a bit off the side measurement just to tuck it in a little bit more so it's not bashing into anything. Probably a fraction more. I don't even think that's straight. Okay, let's get that out of the way. There's our pink pockets. Just feel like that isn't straight. No, it's not. So I'm just gonna slither a bit off. So that's our background. So let's find something that can go on there, like that. There's nothing there. Maybe this could be used now. Yeah, I think they can. Let's use that. It's just got a bit of white. White paper. Yeah, that'll work. And it's tear. A lot of effort, isn't it, doing this style of journal making? A lot of effort. It takes time. It's very hard to rush because you've got to piece together, you know. Like it's easy just to grab one sheet of paper and add it, but. You want a collage, it just takes time. Yeah, I like that. Now we just need something along that bottom edge, just as a little trim. What do we have? Keep going back to that green. Anything in here that would be pretty? Maybe that blue. Yep, let's use the blue. I only need a slither. I might cover. No, I will do a inserted piece, like where it comes back from the edge just a little bit. I sort of like that look at the moment. It does change. I might um, add something fabric-y across there just to embellish it a little bit. Whether that is straight, I'm not sure. Got a bit of white. So just nip that off the scissors. Add a little ink so it's not obvious. And I said I was not going to use ink. It's hard not to. That will go on there. Am I even in camera? Goodness. Right. Using my glass pad to apply glue because it's shockingly dirty anyway and I need to give it a good clean which I'll do after this session yeah I like that so I'm just going to attach that now just a little bit of glue you don't want too much because you're losing valuable pocket. And that can sit down on that corner, that bottom edge, just as a little extra tuck. Okay, let's just get the pin in the glue. So that will 
sit there. Where's my flip? That can go under there. Like so. There'll be a piece of fabric go through there as well. Just to help it stay put. I will get on my sewing machine and add a bit of decorative stitching. And then we've got an opportunity to add some more bits and pieces to the front. Love it. Okay, that's all ready for the sewing machine. All right, let's have a little look inside here. We need some paper just to get our background sorted. What have we got? Something that is bright and happy. Hey, fudgy. It's all so moody. Oh, I like that piece. Right height, yep. I like this one. So let's just tear that down. Mal, can you hear him? He's persistent. He's saying, come on. You've been in your craft room enough. You either should be up doing some housework. He's a very smart cat. You should be up doing housework. Hey, Fudge. Or attending to my needs, which is a lap. Yep. Let's glue that into position. We will need a second piece of... Oh, now I've got some glue. Got caught under the envelope edge there and sliced it off. We'll need a second piece of calico to go through the centre of our little page. Like so. That's the inside cover sorted, blue and all. Let's find a second piece. I'm not going to make any side tucks out of that, purely because I want to keep it just simple as a booklet. Maybe if I'm sitting with her one day playing in the journal, that could be an opportunity for a little activity that her and I can do where we make a journal card or something to go inside this. But at the moment, I'm going to leave it because I sort of feel like there's be enough going on here and I'd rather have it as a useful space for her to put bits and bobs so I'm just going to apply glue around this perimeter hey fudgy and I might just put a little blue to oh fudge please look no one's listening I'm sorry but nobody cares about what you want we're busy he knows that too that's why he's starting to elevate his voice he's thinking you lot aren't listening and i'm just going to run a bead of glue down here just in case i decide to open that up at least we'll get the full width of it here we go so there's our little cover We'll just rip some calico and get that into position. Where's our hello fudge? Fudgy's like sitting down there looking at me going, what is your problem? Why are you ignoring me? So I'll just cut that the same as the one we did before. And I should be able to just go to that fold. Okay. 
Now, we can attach it. So our cover is pretty much done, bar a little decorative sewing machine work, which I can do as my homework. And this really needs to dry, I like. I can feel so much moisture in this project, so I probably need to just let it sit now. Go find something else to do. There we go. But that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Nice and rustic. A few stitches here and there. Probably shouldn't fold that until it's dry. That will go on there. We've got some pockets happening here. Where'd my pink pockets get to? Oh, don't tell me I've lost it. There they are. Oh my goodness. Those there, those there. Glue, put the lid back on. Then I can have a bit of a think about what we do inside. Now, you know, at the end of the day, it could be a little journal inside the journal. I'm sort of tending towards that. We've got enough pockets here to add some little decorative elements and then maybe we just put some papers on the inside for her to play with, a baby journal. Um, it certainly would be a nice little extra to add into our piece. Anyway, I'm gonna hop on the sewing machine next. I'm gonna finish these elements. I'll probably attach this flip so then that's done. And then, um, yeah, we'll come back and make a decision on what we're going to use this for. I'm sort of thinking that the journal will be what I do because I think I want to add these little pieces that I've got ready to go throughout. So whenever there's a project, there's a spot for us to tuck bits and pieces that connect to the page instead of having a whole big book full of ephemera at the front let's make this a mini project within the project if that makes sense so that's how i'm sort of thinking all right guys i'm gonna leave it at that and jump on my sewing machine and um, i'll be back in the next video so stay safe look after yourselves bye for now